No, no t-shirt. Oh, I might have a t-shirt. Yeah, no, probably not. Be a t-shirt, be an elaborate cloak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Maybe details. Details. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, I can't read the Aquarius man because it would not really make sense. So, the Aquarius woman. Mm. She is a cool customer. The, Aqu <laughs> <laughs> the Aquarian woman is ruled by a yang sign and is also interested in being an iconoclast. She loves to break stereotypes. She may be a tomboy or a sleek fashion model. If she is influenced more by Saturn, then the conflict between her desire to be unique and her wish to maintain the status quo puts her in a sexual bind and she can stay in a rut for a long time. If passion leads you towards an uptight Aquarian woman and you unleash her potential, you will find a rush of passion that will keep you panting and very excited. The Aquarian woman loves to have her lower back rubbed. I'm not entirely sure about that. I mean, I, I do. I, I guess I do. Anyway. The book says so. The book says so. The book says so. Yeah. That's true. The book says so, so it must be true. She tends to be physically fit and may be able to do a few pretzel positions that will surprise her partner. She is game pretzel. to try Challenge anything. Challenge considered. I love pretzels. <laughs> Wait, no. That's not what we're, that's not what we're talking about. Oh, <laughs> Only soft pretzels. It's sidetracked, man. Hard pretzels are kind of weird and not Andy tasty. Ends. I'm all about that Andy Ann shit. Her lovers will always be her friends because that is the highest compliment she pays anyone. She might groove on the way her, the hair on her maid's belly leads exactly to his pubic hair and feel like she has discovered Africa <laughs> or enjoy putting... Oh, no, 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 here, here you go. It, after go Africa, there's, Africa. A gomica, there's a comma. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or enjoy putting a lightning bolt tattoo on the inside of her ankle. Oh, here's, here's an alert. This says... Brush your you gotta say a big alert. <laughs> oh, alert! <laughs> Brush your aquarium woman's hair, which will probably crackle with electricity, especially in the winter months. Uh, I can attest, this is this Again, is she has lightning powers. <laughs> exactly. I'm a badass with lightning powers. <laughs> Motherfucker, yeah. She will be happy taking the dominant position in lovemaking. She will also be happy making the first move, because for the aquarium woman, it is all part of a game that interests her when she is in the mood. Romance is not so important, and atmosphere is also not so important. Communication of like minds that includes physical sensations is important. If this sounds like something Mr. Spock from Star Trek might say, realize that Aquarians are future-oriented and believe wholeheartedly that passion has led the world into chaos. They, in their own relationships, are trying to right the balance. <laughs> That makes you sound a little bit like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> and with the lightning powers. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Aquarius and Capricorn. Let's do it. <laughs> you horny goat. I am such a horny goat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. <laughs> I don't know if you knew. If you're a Aquarius and Capricorn. If your Aquarian is more ruled by Saturn than Uranus... It come, oh wait, for Uranus, for, for, this Uranus, for the Uranus, sake of this conversation. Then Uranus, Uranus. a combination with Capricorn works well. However, the less conventional, yeah, less conventional, less conventional Aquarians will chomp at the bit when confronted with Capricorn conservatism. Even Red though they're Republican. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, baby. Red <laughs> Republican five. Republican five. <laughs> Even though their life views are very different, the naked fact of sex can be satisfying. Sexually speaking, Capricorn has more libido than Aquarius and does not need the fantasizing that Aquarius loves to get going. All right. Doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. Doesn't need it, no. No. Aquarius and Gemini. Yeah, all the time, right now. <laughs> right now. Aquarius and Gemini. Air and air are compatible elements, and the surprising nature of both these signs makes them a zesty combination. <laughs> Both air this. signs love to talk about sex. This would be the time to try out your phone sex fantasies. <laughs> phone sex. <laughs> phone so sex. That's not phone sex, though. Oh. Keep a little princess phone under your bed, and you and your Gemini lover will have fun. Like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, we should probably clarify that. This <laughs> so. <laughs> so <laughs> Like, 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 like the princess of phones keep her under the bed. I'm, I'm guessing her? that's like a toy phone. Uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of like a toy like phone, yeah. for a like little, with the small cord like, for the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Kinda, yeah. I'm thinking that. Gemini, ruled by Mercury, loves the teasing that Aquarians rule by Uranus. 
does instinctively <laughs> saying, <laughs> saying I will do Let this. Let me see the Leo man one more or time. Or if the you're Leo very, man. very good, I will do that. Kay. Gets Aquarius' his fantasy life primed for a physical encounter. The best part of sex with these two signs is that they won't bore each other. Jimmy, what a tease. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That phone, that's what it is. <laughs> they gave the bitch a prince's phone. Aquarius and Leo. <laughs> it's gotta be just interesting. I love prince's phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did I miss Aquarius and Leo? Okay. This combo is hot and a great instance <laughs> of opposites attracting. Who's Leo. This, who's this? Oh, Leo. Leo. It's, oh, it's, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. She, she 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 likes the very extravagant. <laughs> Apparently, Leo is probably the most personally centered sign of the zodiac, and Aquarius is the most group centered. Their elements are air and fire, and the ruling planets are Uranus, Uranus and the Sun. The sexual give and take is great. <laughs> Can we back up for a second? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure the Sun's not a planet. Like. Not an astronomer. <laughs> kind of like a buff, though. <laughs> kind of, kind of that one. Is that really what it's saying? It's not that That's clear really, on the difference. Their elements are air and fire, and the ruling planets are Uranus and the sun. It's in the book. It's in the book. In the book. So it's true. The sexual like the give and take. That book just changed science <laughs> yeah. forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. The sexual give and take is great because Aquarius appreciates Leo's passion and needs the warmth of the sun, and Leo needs an audience What's and sparkles <laughs> in trying like to get the approval. <laughs> like uh, that's why I, I, right. I had to accent that. <laughs> and trying to get the approval and energy he needs from Aquarius. They could spend a very successful affair fighting, making up, and trying to understand each other, all while having great sex. Oh yeah, makeup sex is great. Yeah. It can be naughty because both signs can be exhibitionists. At the office knew party, it. yeah, I, I know. I've always knew it. <laughs> makeup sex is always good. At that office party, after they, uh, ooh, yeah, at that office party, after they leave a door slightly open, you may catch a glimpse of Leo and Aquarius standing against the wall in a pu posture that is comfortable for only one thing. Leo and Aquarius should emphasize the spine, rubbing Connect. it, massaging it, or turning upside down. Ooh. And if you have a tape. If you have a tape of an audience applause and play it every time you make love, you will definitely. Oh, no, remember he's all. You got a laugh. So every time we're having sex, it's like. I got for real though. Okay. That's maybe the greatest idea I've ever. Heard. Okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, <laughs> that happened in my immortal. That happens in my immortal. Does it? I believe wow. so. I believe and uh, Eb uh, uh, Ebony and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just ridiculous. Okay, go ahead. I'm, All right. I'm doing that. We're, we're on. We're on, his, we're on to <laughs> Steve and his Sag. <laughs> so Aquarius and Sagittarius. <laughs> the combination of the elements air and fire means that at last Aquarius has met a talker that will be able to keep up with her. This combination makes for friendly, compatible sex and lots of motion. <laughs> These two will do it in the car, train, ship, or wherever. Train and ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve spends a lot of time. Trains. And ships. You may find that. And he's going back to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you a lot about trains after the past year. Of it, so he didn't you may that. find that in the midst of lovemaking, Sag is talking and Aquarius is listening, and then vice versa. If you focus on using this oral facility in a more physical way, you and your lover will be more sa lover. Sorry, lover will be more satisfied. Humming a tune while engaging will also increase the vibrations. That's yes, true. <laughs> this is essential. This is a strange scene, doesn't it? Like he's talking to her. <laughs> she's humming. She, she's humming. This is essential. Aquarius and Sagittarius often share a love of the same colors. Emphasize gifts of clothing and rich blues and greens, and you'll be well on your way to having a good time between the sheets. <laughs> Sag and Aquarius can be silly and playful together. Sagittarius is also a freedom-loving sign, and Aquarius has no problem with that. Sag will demand total honesty, though, if Aquarius's other friends <laughs> become lovers. Okay. Hi. Here we go. Aquarius and Virgo. Different elements, air and earth, 
and different qualities, fixed and mutable, mean that these two live in different worlds. Looking just as sex, there are some possibilities here because Aquarius is turned on by Virgo's charm and consistency. She may pursue the virgin to find out what makes him tick and will feel, love the feel of his skin and clean scent he exudes. <laughs> Aquarians imagine that Virgo's sexy nice, talk nice and idea. proper behavior is <laughs> zesty. Yes. <laughs> yes. And proper behavior is a cover, and underneath he is. Did a, he just as, smell me? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and underneath he is as unconventional as Aquarians. This is a fantasy. As soon as she discovers that Virgo really does like being con conventional, the affair loses its spice. Zone. Sleeping together after sex may be too bumpy for these two. Have a big bed, or better yet, two doubles side by side. Aquarius will want a so friendship. So all those families, on, all those couples on sitcoms. Were Must be Aquarius. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> clearly. Aquarius will want a friendship with this lovely creature. And if that means some time in a bedroom that is too clean and orderly for Aquarius' sense of decor, then so be it. This is not usually a lasting combination. Oh. Like it, everybody? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Nope. He's a Leo. Oh, oh. Yep. Yeah, you've already heard the Leo. He's got his poofy 